Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of TMI365. Today's lesson, I'm going to be covering some of the threat and vulnerability management features within Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. As I mentioned in previous lessons, Microsoft's really trying to help you become more proactive in discovering vulnerabilities and threats within your organization. This could be on the device level, but also software on that device as well here too. This dashboard shows you a top-down view of the highest level threats, and it's really prioritizing based off of this impact score here for things that you would want to take a look at so you don't have to do that manual work of prioritization yourself. On this dashboard, we can see a lot of the activity, and ideally, we're going to try to reduce our exposure score over time. Clicking into some of these widgets here will bring you more information. Otherwise, you can go on the left-hand nav to see more of the information that they're presenting here at an aggregated view. If I click into recommendations here, they have security recommendations based off of the misconfigurations on a device, as well as known vulnerabilities in software that they've detected on these devices as well. So clicking into one of these, you can actually see more information about what's going on here, associated CVEs, and scope as far as the devices in which this is being affected. A really cool part here is that you can actually request remediation directly from this admin center, and it has an integration with Microsoft Defender Endpoint Manager, so you can create a ticket for somebody who may be controlling the patch updates, for instance, on the software or on the OS itself. So there's a lot of cool integration here that you can do, especially if you have handoff processes within your organization for these types of events. Once you've submitted that for remediation, you can actually go here into the remediation section and you'll be able to see a status here on the particular ticket that you've submitted. Other times you may have automated remediations coming up that could be completed whenever you go through your patch cycle. So on Patch Tuesday, for instance, you may see a lot of these device remediation progress be in a completed status. You also have software inventory here, again, that's detecting all the software on your devices and it can show any particular weaknesses as well. So if you click into this, you can actually open up a software page which shows you the vulnerabilities and misconfigurations on the devices within your organization. You can see all the recommendations that you have for this particular software and you can see any missing KBs as well too and what they missed here. So it looks like this missed the August 2021 security updates. So scope is fully available to you here as well. So you can have a lot of remediation activities at the software level as well too. Weaknesses portray all the known CVEs that are publicly available, but the really cool part here is that they give you the exposed devices in your organization as well too that relate to the CVE. And clicking into it, you can see a lot more of the information history as well as what exact devices are being affected by this as well too. The event timeline here is giving you the ability to see more of the impacted devices and how they've changed over time. So you can see more of your progress with new vulnerabilities that are coming into your organization and how you're progressing into a more secure state. Lastly here, I wanted to touch on the threat analytics section because it does help you from a proactive sense in identifying new security threats that would come into your organization. These are threats that Microsoft has been keeping up with because they're some of the most active ones in the market today. And the really cool part here is they give you the ability to see a big report on this particular event. And it's pretty lengthy and it shows you a lot of the analysis that's been done as well as the common entry points for an organization. So you can learn everything about this vulnerability and it has a ton of detail, but it also shows you the impacted assets within your organization if it is affecting you in any way, as well as some mitigations that you could take as well too from misconfigured devices. So there's many things that you could do to help protect against this through configuration changes on your particular device. And they give you a lot of these recommendations here that you can see, and you can see the exposed devices as well too from the, the settings section here. So that's everything I wanted to showcase for you guys today in the threat and vulnerability management section for Defender for Endpoint. Stay tuned for my next lesson where I'll be showing you how to run simulations within Defender as well. Thanks guys. Have a great day.